Hi everyone, and thanks for attending my webinar last night. Um, I really, I'm really sorry about running late, um, and um, I know I would never have time to go through that um, in the entire demo of installations and playing around with it. I took most of time explaining it, um, and so this video I'm going to show you how to install my actual demo. And to install it, uh, we probably gonna need to actually clone my projects into your laptop. So this is what we are gonna do. So first thing first, uh, we're gonna start by cloning the uh, project into my laptop. Once it's done, uh, Let's take a look at the uh, the directory, and you'll find a, um, a folder named um, Healthcare Demo. So let's go into that folder, and you will see there are several part different um, files and, and directories. And the most important one is this one. This one is the one that's going to get you kick-started and um, install my entire demo. And the other next important one is the um, uninstalled shell. So what this does is um, once you've finished playing around with this demo and you want to keep your environment clean, this is going to clean up everything um, that is created by this demo. So before we begin, I want to make sure that um, you have installed Vagrants and VirtualBox in your uh, local laptop because uh, those are the, the two libraries and softwares that we are going to need um, to run my demo. And my demo is based on OpenShift, which means that you will need to set up OpenShift on your local environments. And um, this OpenShift environment needs uh, softwares. And so there are three different softwares that we are going to um, download from the Red Hat websites. And the three softwares that you need to download are First of all, the CDK. CDK is the um, Vagrant file that is connecting to your VirtualBox. And that VirtualBox will contain all the um, OpenShift settings that you need. And that VirtualBox is here. So you're gonna need to download the VirtualBox from the Red Hat website as well. And you also need to download the OpenShift client because we're gonna interact with OpenShift and install a couple of things afterwards. So we are going to need the OpenShift client. In this case, I'm using the Open uh, Mac OS, and if you're using Linux uh, or any other uh, platform, make sure you download the correct client for it. So now that we have the uh, all the software is ready, all we have to do is just run the anecdote shell um, script, and it is going to start installing everything. So in this script, what it does is, first of all, it will install all the Vagrant plugins that we're going to need for installing this um, OpenShift environment. And um, after setting up the, the environments, we're going to create a project within that OpenShift environment. So we will be working under that project. And also, we're going to install messaging queue. Um, as many as of you might already know that uh, from the webinar that I have a messaging queue as my event-based architecture um, broker, so uh, I will be installing I will be installing the um, messaging queue uh, before you, so you don't have to do it. And when you were prompt with this, it's um, asking you because we have a Red Hat Linux um, for our Docker image. Um, it's just asking you if you want to register your system and if you have a um, Red Hat um, subscription, just you can type yes and continue on into, um, registering your, con your um, name on top of that. Um, but sometimes people don't and I think I'll just skip this part just for making sure it's quick. All right. So now we have um, everything installed, and um, so you should have a running OpenShift on top of your uh, 
laptop and just to verify it um, just to verify it uh, we're going to go to this URL and this URL is going to take you to the OpenShift console and you can log into the console with ID and password admin admin and in the front page you will see a um, couple of projects that are available and these are these ones are all the default ones and this demo project is the is the ones that I have created for you um, for for your um, for our demo here so now you will see there's a broker AMQTCP which is the broker that is going to handle all the messaging um, for for our demo and we also have swagger which is going to show the um, API contents and it's going to take a couple of minutes for it to run um, so we'll just leave it as it is and um, before we go and start installing everything there's a little tip I would like to give to all of you um, because um, the, the number of services that I have created for my demo is quite a lot so um, if you go into my project so if you go target, CDK, components, rail, rail OSE, this is where your Vagrant file is. And if you take a look at the uh, Vagrant file, you will see not now that it has assigned um, some memories to, uh, to, to RVM, but I think... Um, this VM is the, the number of memories is quite limited, so it only gives me like 2 Gs to run the entire OpenShift and all the instance. So I would like to change it. So you don't have to, but I think it would be best, you know, you know, with less problems. I think I would just triple it or, or oops, just making sure. Oops. I'll give it a 50-60 then. 50-60. And maybe I'll have a 4 core CPU assigned to it. And to restart, um, I'm going to do Vagrant Health. And this is going to stop my VM. And I'm going to start it up again with Vagrant. And it's going to ask you if you want to register your system. Um, not say no because you want to speed up things. And then we're going to run Vagrant Provision. And um, now we have an um, OpenShift and it's having a more resource. And so that if you go back to the OpenShift console, you will now see the pods running, so now it's much quicker. And um, we're going to deploy our uh, application into OpenShift. And so to do that, we need to go down to the uh, to the project. But before we do the depo actual deployment, there are several um, system environment that we need to set. Um, so first of all, go into our CDK components rail rail OS E um, directory. It is the place where it has the favorite file. So um, here we're gonna call the service manager. Um, so what it does is going to print out the Docker settings for us. So we're gonna we we are going to need to uh, run it. Uh, yep, and then we're gonna simply create uh, copy these. Um, exported docker settings and just simply paste it in our command line and then um, so once we get that set it um, so go go down to the project folder the project folder contains all the source codes um, which is um, all the clinics fire uh, routing engines and all the routing engines and stuff and then we're going to do the maven local deploy um, instruction to do the actual installation of the project. 
here we're going to compile the application and um, create the Docker image and then push the Docker image up on the OpenShift which we have installed in our local environment with the um, CDKs and everything. Once I've um, finished deploying my project, I can go back to the OpenShift console and in the console you will see now all my um, projects and instances are running in um, each individual pod. So here's the view of the pods and you will see now they all should be in the running state. If they're not, um, just check um, if there's any errors in your logs. So um, once we've done the um, creating of the project, we're going to create routes because um, some of them need extra routes uh, to, uh, for the others to access. So I'm just going to create more routes. Yes, and one thing um, before we actually create the next route, um, um, so if, if you found that you have login problem, make sure that you um, log in using OC login. That's what I'm doing right now. And just make sure that your project is running um, demo project. Um, if you're not using the demo project, um, um, just do OC and do project demo, and it should take you to that project. And then, um, yeah, so that's how you do it. And we're just going to continue on and create our next uh, next route. So our next route is um, doing, um, creating the lab rest for API route. So that's another route that we need to create. And um, that's all the routes that we need uh, for our application. And now we're going to install the GUI part, which is the um, web page containing all the JavaScripts and which is going to interact with all the APIs um, with our applications. And that's how you going to how you um, do the installation. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to do, I'm, I'm doing um, S2I um, deployments. And I need to also need to create a route for, for that um, for that S2I project. And you should be able to see the web running. Now all the parts are running. Um, so if you want to access the application, we are going to the route which is pointing to our uh, GUI services. And our GUI services is called Health Healthcare Web. And if you go to the routes, that is this route here that is pointing to our GUI interface. And then, um, so here we are going to access by going to the healthcare web page. And just make sure um, you have um, enabled the cross origin restrictions. We're all set to go and play with the demo. Have fun!